Welcome to Excel in a minute. Have you ever wondered how they made their Excel worksheets more presentable, with the cells having the right dimensions? Excel is indeed useful in terms of its functions and features. However, it is also important to have good formatting to help users find meaning in your spreadsheet. Formatting in Excel is important to properly present your data in a visually pleasing manner. In this lesson, we will show you how to adjust the width of the column and the height of the row of the cells. The Excel cells are the rectangular boxes that occurs in the vertical columns and the horizontal rows in a worksheet. The size of each cell can be adjusted in terms of width and height. And there are two ways to do that. Let's have an example for the first method. If you want to make a cell wider by approximating its size, simply drag the left side of the boundary of the column heading of the selected cell. Adjust and release it when you reach the desired width. To approximately adjust the height of a cell, you may also drag the bottom side of the boundary of the row heading and release it when you reach the desired height. Next is through the Home tab. In the Cells group, click Format. In the drop-down list, you will see the cell size group. Click the row height option to adjust the height. After that, a small window will appear prompting you to set the desired height of the row. The default height is 15. Now, type in the height you want for that cell. And once you finish typing in the new row height, click OK. Now, to change the column width using this method, you may do the same by clicking the column width option from the drop-down list. Again, a small window will appear where the default width is 8. Enter the desired width, then click OK. And that's it. You may now start changing the size of the cells on your worksheet however you want, and be able to present your data in a more organized way. We are excited on your journey with Excel. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.